A couple of years ago, the Fertilizer Institute joined up with the United States Department of Agricultural and Natural Resources Conservation Service to partner with Iowa State University and the International Plant Nutrition Institute to develop a set of 4R educational modules that could be learned, uh, could be utilized as online sources of information. Uh, those modules are now available. Uh, the goal of those modules is to provide basic fertility information that can help folks learn to better utilize the four R's as they implement those practices with agricultural providers, retailers, uh, policy makers, other stakeholders that could utilize the four R's. The four R Nutrient Stewardship Report Information about how the right source, right rate, right time and right place interact with issues facing everyone. We asked TFI's Laura Moody to talk about a new free online resource that could be a perfect primer or review of the scientific and applied principles behind the four R's. We thought about just first addressing source rate, time and place, but there are so many specifics that are individualized for each nutrient that is utilized by the crop. We decided to focus on individual nutrients. So, for example, with regard to nitrogen, we created a module that first establishes how nitrogen is used by the cropping system, how the plant takes it up, and why the plant needs nitrogen. Then we talked about what the deficiencies are. How can somebody tell when a plant needs additional nitrogen? And then we looked at the nitrogen cycle. What are the inputs for, a, for nitrogen into the cropping system? What are the loss pathways? And then finally, because of the nitrogen cycle, because of how the plant utilizes nitrogen, how are the practices selected for that cropping system? So then we bring in practices and information around source, rate, time, and place. And so we've done that for each of the nutrients. Uh, we look at nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, calcium, and magnesium, micronutrients collectively. We also look at soil pH and lime. And then because there are other specifics that uh, are utilized by all of those sources, we look at soil sampling and then how economics and environmental benefits are uh, included in that conversation. These materials are intended to be an information source for a range of stakeholders. In some cases, they're going to be an excellent tool for new uh, staff into agronomy program. So retailers that have new individuals coming in to work with them that don't have years of experience of implementing fertilizer best management practices on the farm. This will provide them a good base of soil fertility and how nutrient management practices are, uh, are selected based on the crop needs. But they'll also provide an excellent source of information for our stakeholders. We have a lot of stakeholders that are working to address water quality issues, air quality issues, and thinking about the role of crops in the environment, and nutrients, and the role that nutrients play for crops in the environment. As those stakeholders address those questions, they don't always have a solid background in agriculture, in agronomy, in nutrient management. And so because these provide a good base level of information, these modules will be well suited for educating those individuals on the role of nutrient management for cropping systems and the impacts of those nutrients on the environment. To review these new modules, visit nutrientstewardship.com and click on the training tab.